Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Tierra Lee, and if you don't know already, um, I am a NASM certified yoga teacher and health coach. I specialize in nutrition and weight loss, and I established my um, Teal Beauty wellness brand to not only share with you my yoga and meditation, but also some of my favorite uh, nutrition supplements. And one of the very first products we have available for you on the site is our sea moss. Um, our sea moss is harvested off the Caribbean coast. It is sun-dried with absolutely nothing added to it. And today I'm gonna show you how to make it. Um, sea moss gel that is. All right, let's get into it. So. Um, this is how your sea moss is going to come, dehydrated, dry like this, a bit spongy. And one of the first things you want to do, because sea moss is harvested literally like off the coast, out of the ocean, like how seaweed, algae, all that is up on the coast, that's sea moss. And um, it'll have debris from the ocean. Um, rocks still attached to it, all kind of stuff. So one of the first things you want to do is properly clean the sea moss. And this is how I do my. So you just want to take some pieces and you just want to rip some off here. Might get a little messy. As you can see, all these rocks and sand, some stuff. And I use spring water to um, clean my sea moss and to cook it. But if you want to use um, distilled water or just plain filter water, that'd be great. But the spring water would be best. So you want to pour it just enough until it's covering the sea moss. You don't need it need too much. All right, and you want to just you know kind of. Just get the water, get it all mixed up in the water like that. And um, because what's gonna happen is it's gonna start to soften over the next um, I say about 10 minutes, let it sit for about 10 minutes, and then you come back. Um, you give it an opportunity to kind of loosen up and get some of the debris loose so you can clean it. Okay. All right. And we're back. <laughs> so this has been sitting for uh, just about 10 minutes. And as you can see, it is a lot of stuff in here. I probably put more in here than I intended to. Um, but don't worry. You guys will get exactly two or four ounces <laughs> when you do, um, order. But listen, so this right here, I'm trying to take this little piece off. Can you zoom in on this? Got it. Okay. And then next, I take it out of this bowl, the original, and I put it into another bowl. And just I want to put this all in the new bowl. So as you can see, this water is very dirty. Um, I could not even tell you. Um, it's starting to smell real oceany like in the kitchen. Um, and I just simply dump this water. Right, and this bowl, um, I put some more um, spring water in here, and you're just gonna fill it up again this time. I'm gonna let it sit for another 10 minutes. One thing that I like to add to the second soak is a little bit of lime juice. So, just take your lime. Cut it up. I need to poke a little bit in there so it can be easy to squeeze. And you just want to um, add this to the water because it's going to help to not only with the flavor later on, but also help with um, just cleaning it up. You know, I know a lot of people use lime to um, or apple cider vinegar and stuff to like clean their fruits. This is kind of like. Just mix that in there. 
And again, the purpose of this second soak is to just clean it a little further than um, we did the first time. All right, and we're back. So um, it's been another 10 minutes. <laughs> and I'm gonna move this out the way so you guys can see clearly. Um, so now with this first bowl, I rinsed this out, uh, cleaned it out, so that's clean. Um, and what I'm gonna do now that is soaked for the second time, um, now you're gonna just clean it, thoroughly clean it um, before this next part. And thoroughly cleaning it, any of these like crunchy pieces you can feel, you take that. Um, and everything you do want, you want to put in this bowl. So anything that looks funny, funny color, any ocean debris that doesn't uh, suit you well and you don't want to eat that, right? Um, just take that off. So I I make a mess sometimes, but I just put it all. I would leave it in a bowl or put it on the counter, but. Oops. You're just going to do this throughout the whole thing. Kind of just go through. Use the water in the bowl to kind of rub off some of the stuff. Right. Sometimes it's literally piece by piece because you know you got all kind of stuff in here. I'll put some of the stuff on the counter so you can see. Like it literally comes off the rocks, off the coast. It has all kind of stuff in it. But it is a superfood. All these great uh, nutritional benefits. See this right here? You don't want that. All right, so um, I just spent the last 30 minutes cleaning this sea moss. So this is what we're going to cook. As you can see, you have rocks, you got some seaweed, little sticks, all kind of stuff is in here. Um, there's a lot of stuff that you obviously don't want to cook up in the sea moss gel, um, water, very dirty so it's always important for those first two soaks to really um, let it soak so it can get all the extra stuff because the nutrients is still inside the sea moss so now come on with me so i can show you how to cook it So now that we have the sea moss that we cleaned, um, you want to get your water to a boil. Me, um, just like you, I the water for, um, you know, when you're doing that prepping cleaning part where you just want the water to feel um, right above the sea moss, that's going to be the same thing with the pot. So just add it just until the water is covering it. And you just want to add that in there. And if you've uh, brought it to a boil, let's get that nice and mixed up. So no more than 20 minutes. Um, you want to check it every five to 10 minutes. Make sure it's you know not um, you know over boiling or boiling out the pot. Um, but you can either turn it low or turn it off. Um, this cast iron pan holds heat a lot so I actually turn it off and I'm gonna just wait um, you know 10 to 20 minutes and I'm gonna come back for it all right so it's been about 10 15 minutes and this is how it's going to look and you know like that's why you want to just put enough water in there just to cover the sea moss so it's not soupy and then now you want to just let it cool off before the next step. All right, so now that um, we've let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes um, and it's cooled down, we're gonna put it in a blender. And it's very important that you allow it to cool down, um, even if you have to do more than, you know, 10 to 15 minutes, whatever that cool time takes for you. Um, it's important for you not to blend it while it's hot because it can 
burst in the blender and it'll be very dangerous. So. I know why I put that back on. <laughs> and I'm just pouring it in this bowl to make it easier to put in the blender. Still got a little steam, but it'll be alright. And as you can see, it looks a little gel like. Jelly like I was saying, but just a little. And you see there's a little steam on it, so I'm actually let that sit for just a couple more minutes. Alright, so now that this has officially cooled off, um one of my favorite things to add to my plain sea moss is some honey or like a sweetener, but a natural. So I have agave and uh, manuka honey. I'm gonna go with the manuka. And right before you blend it. <laughs> you want to just um, add however much you would like. And the very last step, we blend. Now that that's blended, it's going to look like this. It's getting a little bit of that um, gel consistency. Now I like to store mine, you can put it in a bowl, um, whatever you store it with, as long as it has a lid. I like glass, I prefer glass, mason jar. And you want to just And that is how you make sea moss gel. So this is going to be good for you in the refrigerator for about two months, I would say, max, for ultimate freshness. And um, it's a bit liquidy now, but I'll show you what that jelly consistency um, once it's in the refrigerator for a few hours. All right, so... Um, that is the entire process on how to make sea moss gel. And this is the finished product. I did let it cool off and sit in the refrigerator for a couple hours. And this is the consistency you'll get. It's gel like. Um, sometimes it gives you like a applesauce texture, sort of kind of. But it's gel like. So take you a uh, um, you know, spoonful, tablespoon every day, a couple times a week, add it to your smoothies. Um, it's a lot of different ways to consume sea moss. Um, check out my next video on how to make the fruit and juicy moss. So it tastes even better than the regular one. <laughs> All right, so that was that. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. <laughs> when I tell you today was the day, I didn't even know explaining how to make sea moss would be that hard. It wasn't hard, but. Have you nervous? Um, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is my... like, like this. So one more time. <laughs>